Okay, well, in England, in, in, well, in... OK, well, in the UK this summer, 2010, uh, there's a big summer reading scheme going on and it's all to do with space. So I'm, I'm doing some uh, space things and I'm going to show you how to draw uh, the command and Apollo Command and Service module. And you can download one of these just to colour in from my site, www.shoot-tube.com. So uh, I'll show you how to draw it right now. OK, uh, this is going to be the Apollo Command and Service module. As ever, we need pencils and erasers and uh, pens. And uh, these are these nice Mars Lumograph pencils that uh, Stadler sent me to try out. And they're very nice. I like them. I like this 6B. I've got to do a, another thing about these pencils one day because uh, they're very interesting. OK, how <laughs> are we going to do this? Um, hmm. We need to... Um, Let's draw an ellipse. So basically, basically, you've got a kind of a tin can, really, um, kind of like that. Okay, and then we're going to want to have uh, a triangle coming off it at the top. Now that it has this kind of cushion on the bottom, so draw an, another line just slightly around it, and then another ellipse there. And that's where the engine will come out from. So that will come out from there. You need another ellipse for the engine there. So kind of a line there. So there's lots of ellipses all being joined up. Now across here there's this kind of service bay which gets kind of... And, and there's a lines around there like that. Um, there's a service bay which um, kind of opens up and you can just kind of see things in, in there. Kind of like that. I don't know, things... Blech. Um, the the door is kind of in there with a window. There's another window there, a couple of holes. Now you've got these 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 strange things where, which stick out on the side. Um, they kind of like look like a gold bullion bar is probably the shape it is, isn't it? Something like that, and one over there. And these have the little tiny little thruster engines which stick out on the side like that. Uh, you can have one there and one sticking out there. And that's basically it. Um, now, <laughs> where are my pens? These are uh, Stadler Luma Colour Permanent. And I like to use permanent. Um, I'm going to use the fine one there. I like to use permanent because it dries very quickly. But you can use whatever you like. I need to, I need it to dry quickly because I've, I've got to finish the drawing quickly. Um, now, what's first? I'm going to start all the way down here. And... I'm going to draw the engine, which kind of sticks up right like that. And then you can have a very sharp shadow like that. Now, um, we have this kind of, it's kind of, it's almost like a pillow on the bottom. And then if you draw a little, an extra circle around like that, then that's kind of what it's like. Uh, and then you're going to want the top of the tin can there and then if you draw kind of it's not quite parallel is it because a parallel is a straight line I think but kind of elliptically parallel is that possible? <laughs> I hope you know what on earth I'm talking about ok if we have another line like that and then uh, hang on let's do this so you've got these little Things. They're not gimbals, I've forgotten what they're called. They're thrusters, the thrusters are what they are. Um, and they just kind of... Psh, 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 and they just kind of move the spacecraft just very gently, left and right, up and down. X and Y, yaw and something. I've forgotten. Pitch and yaw, that's it. Pitch and yaw. Uh, don't ask me to explain my... <laughs> I think I knew when I was 11. <laughs> I'm not sure I do now. Sounds good though. Right, this is kind of like a... Uh, it's got a kind of a... It's, it's like a silver balloony kind of effect on there. Um, now, if you just... It's kind of got like little suitcases or something in there. You, I don't know. Not not all the pictures you see to, to work from has all, have enough detail. And then there's... Again, you've got this kind of elliptically parallel 
kind of thing there and maybe some kind of lines like that now this is the that's the, well, that's all the service module now this is the command module this is the place where the, the astronauts actually live um, and that's kind of a triangle but it's cut off at the top and it has the um, mechanism whereby it attaches itself to the lunar landing module there uh, you're going to want the, the door with a window in it like that and then there's kind of another window there and there's kind of little holes and ports and things like that there's another line around there and what should we do so we had the had the moon down here so it's flying over the moon and then we'll have a few stars and and how about an earth rise so that's the the north pole be America and Europe and we'll have a, uh, some clouds swirling around like that and uh, and that's it you can color that one in and uh, and then what do we do then what do we do eraser all right <laughs> this is why I use a permanent pen so that I can rub it all out how are we doing for time good oh, that's quite quick um then we can rub it all out um and get rid of those pencil lines and no one will ever know that you had pencil under there before and they say how did you do that that's amazing you can put a little bit of kind of shading in you might want to put some shading in there because you can get some quite serious serious shading uh, serious lighting effects because the sun's so bright out in space more stars and uh, and there you go good hope you like that hope you'll enjoy drawing it and uh, i'd love to see a video response do a video response on youtube and uh and win prizes, but get signed copies of my books, one every month. Um, come back again on the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube. Come to www.shoe-rainer.com and you can see them on, in schools and things there. And, uh, and I'm on TeacherTube as well, so you can uh, find me in all sorts of places. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.